What's up guys? Ram Slender Man here. Back with another update. Man, so figured out the problem. And I admit I could have did a little bit more testing. But you know, it's all about taking the punches and rolling with it. So what I found out was when I let me get into the light. When I installed that fuse box. You know, I put, I for some strange reason, I knew it was a, like a, a six way, uh, a six way panel. Like I can hook up, you know, six lines to it or six line, however you want to word it. I knew it was one of those, but for some strange reason, when I was hooking it up, I somehow pitched it as a, a three, a three way. I don't know. So I felt I was sitting there messing around, you know, cause I was just going to, you know, see if I can install more lights to the switches on the switch panel. So then I seen the MSD wire, like the fat, uh, like the fat red wire. I was supposed to go to the battery. So I seen it there and I'm like, what is that there for? Why did I put that there? And it was like, oh, okay, you know, a fuse panel, you know, it'll still get power, you know, coming from the battery to it. So it'll still get 12 volts. It should be all right. So I'm sitting looking at it some more and I inspect it. Because, you know, I had a, I got a zip tie holding it up to the side because there was really no place for, for me to bolt it to. Hold on, the light just went out in the garage. So, so yeah. So I'm sitting there thinking, you know, why, you know, what's up with that? So I'm sitting there looking and inspecting. As I said, I got a zip tie holding it up to the side of the, the dash support, I guess you could say it is. And, um, yeah, so I had that whole side blocked off with the zip ties so I didn't even think about a fuse put, you know putting a fuse there so I said I'm looking at it and I'm like shit I could put a fuse there that's you know a fuse is supposed to go there and then you know, pop the fuse in now I'm getting some now I'm getting some juice to it cranking so I took the you know it was it was like a so I kind of was thinking maybe because I didn't check uh, um, cylinder one was at top of the center when I put the distributor in. I mean, I did, but I didn't know if it was if the distributor was 180'd out, you know. So I just popped it in there, and I knew if it wasn't going to start the first couple of times of me, you know, pouring like a little bit of gas in there and, you know, adjusting it, if it wouldn't start that way but get close, I could just swap it around and hopefully it'll start that way. So I had like the poofs going on. So I was like, all right. So I flipped it around, 180'd it out. And I'm, you know, put a little bit of gas in there, starting it, you know. And mind you, the whole switch panel board was all kinds of messed up. You know, like the first two switches, I wanted the first switch was supposed to be for the MSD ignition. The second switch was supposed to be for the, um, for the, the fog lights I got in the front. Well, I guess I wired the 12 volt to go to the, for the lights. But was still hooked in with the MSD, or and the MSD light was swapped or something. I forgot how I found it. I don't know how I found it, but I can tell you it wasn't the right way. So, fix that. And now, you know, so pretty much every time I would try to start, the lights would be on with the MSD. So it would be, my lights would be draining the MSD as I'm trying to start it because, you know, it took a little bit. Um, now, of course, mind you, I also did the. Um, uh, the manual, the electric to manual choke conversion. So I do it. I didn't have anything holding down the choke flap down. You know, like in, if the choke was on. To I don't know if that would have a, a significant you know change in result from me having the flap closed. We'll try to start probably. But anyway, so yeah. So pop the fuse in. Now I'm getting some juice. And I was starting. So now put a little more gas in, and I had a wrench. Holding on to where the the um the air cleaner sits, there's like four little prongs that the air cleaner would kind of you know slip into. So I had a bolt or I had a, a wrench on that little prong, uh, the little prong, and then laying on top of the flap, so it was like a little bit open but primarily closed, like if the truck was on. So I'm sitting there starting it and I, you know starting it, trying to start it, giving like a little bit of gas, and it fired up for like two seconds and then it shut back down. So as you can see the smile on my face, I'm pretty excited. You know, I got it close up and running. Just needs more gas, um, more battery juice because now my battery's dead, you know. 
because the lights being on and there's four of them and everything else. So tomorrow, or maybe even today when when uh, my mom gets home, I can put it up on the jumper cables and hopefully we'll get even more start and you know we'll be boom boom booming away. So that's my update. Um, expect maybe like another video or at least something in the next couple hours. Or if you check out um, my page, I'm on RamChargerCentral.com. Ramsland demands my name. Check out my Instagram, at JDMCharlie3. And you can see more stuff that you guys wouldn't see on YouTube, like pictures and, and little, you know, tidbits and all that other shit. All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. Expect another one. I'm out. Ramsland demand out. Later, guys.